Hey friends, it's me, Micah. This is the Homestead Bandwagon uh, with another uh, compelling edition of From China with Love. Yes, this is where I review products that are commonly sold on Amazon. They may be a knockoff of a more expensive product and we're gonna see, hey, does the thing work just as good on a budget? That's what we find out. Uh, so this is a, a sponsored video because this thing was sent to me for free um, from a company called Vivor, V-E-V-O-R. There's links in the, the description. And Vivor does a lot of stuff. They make all sorts of things or rebrand a whole bunch of things, whatever they're doing. And they seem to sell them for a decent price. Um, and this particular product is right here. This is a tire bead breaker. So this is hydraulic with a foot control. And you plug your airlines up to this thing and you, you break a, a tire off the bead. If you know, you know, right? It is a pain to break tires off beads. Um, this thing really isn't made for um, like passenger tires. This is made for skid steers or tractors or, or I guess truck tires on, on, on like steel rims. If you got something with chrome, it's gonna mess them up. Yeah, let's just get to it and see how this thing does. Okay, so I've got this thing mounted where I think it should be, and I've tried it a few times. I'm not having any problems getting this guy to come down, but I think this is just supposed to push the tire down, and I can't figure out how to make it switch over. There's no buttons or nothing. There's a lever here, but I don't see how loosening that will do anything. So I wonder if I just need to keep pressing the foot pedal down and once it clamps all the way then it pushes. We'll try that real quick. Well it's clamped but now it needs to push. There it goes. Now it's pushing. Yeah, we can see there that this foot finally pushed down. Okay, so the problem I was having wasn't with the machine. It's, I think it's the amount of air pressure I had. Um, so I'm using this little DeWalt pancake compressor and I had it set to get up to like 140 PSI, but that bleeds off pretty quick. And the machine, the instructions said you need 100 PSI. I think that means constant PSI. That's fine, you just, you know, work it for a sec, let the air compressor get back up to pressure and then work it some more. You know, I'm, I'm not in a professional setting here because um, what's going on is this arm is coming down, clamping on the wheel, and then this foot is hydraulic, and that's the one that takes all the pressure. So this foot presses down on the tire, presses down on the tire, and pops the tire off, off the wheel. Um, it does a pretty good job. So this guy is unseated, and it, it would be a pain in the neck to do this with a, with a hammer. So yeah, that thing works great. Okay, so what do I think of this thing? Well, I think it's really stinking heavy, which could be good or could be bad. It's a pain to lug around. You're not gonna hand this to grandma and have her go, you know, uh, yard the, the tires off a bunch of wheels out back so you can go recycle some old wheels or get rid of some busted old tires. Um, it's heavy enough, you could probably drop it on a tire and knock it off the bead. But 
Um, I think the weight does provide a, a, a benefit in that it will sit on that tire when it's doing its thing. Um, speaking of doing its thing, you got to have a, a plenty of air pressure to run this thing 100 PSI at all times. Otherwise, you're going to wait for your compressor to come back up to 100 and then do a little work and then it'll slow down. So you do have to have a good amount of air, air pressure. Um, once I figured out how it works, it works great. Um, the instruction manual, very sparse. Um, you know, you get this manual and it says to, you know, put the thing on the tire and then press the thing down and it'll take the tire off. So that's all it said. Um, I had to just kind of noodle out that, you know, this is, the, this is the part that goes, you know, between the wheel and tire and this is the part that clamps onto the wheel. Okay. And then you have to keep your foot on it to make the little thumb push the tire down. Uh, there's no pictures or nothing telling you how to do it. Um, what is nice is there's actually a parts list here. Um, I don't know if you could call Vivor and, and say, hey, I need part number 3-2 and they get it for you. Maybe, maybe they will. And if that's the case, then, you know, you could use this in a commercial application um, because it's very nice to be able to just have that tire on the ground, throw this thing on it, step on the foot pedal and have it do the work instead of swinging a hammer. Um, that is really, really nice. So I think we'll take this down to the tractor shop and have it there for when we're doing tire removals. Um, way easier than use, using a hammer. Um, for sure. So, yep, seems like a decent tool, very heavy, um, uh, lots of pressure. <laughs> um, it will it'll, it'll crack a brick, I, I, you know, just press it on it. So that was, that's kind of cool, <laughs> you know, does a good job of stuff like that. And it'll take a, a wheel off, uh, off of a tire. It'll break that bead. Um, the fit and finish, not so good. Um, I mean, the paint's coming off it everywhere already, but whatever. That doesn't matter. You know, your little male nipple here that you connect your airline to, that's going to get busted off. So you pro I don't know, might want to think about something there if you're throwing this around the shop. Um, but yeah, decent hose. I don't have any leaks after using it. Um, this would be nice if this was a quick disconnect, but just unscrew it. So whatever, you know, that's, that's a small complaint. So yeah, seems like a good tool. It did what it's supposed to do. Um, I got really muddy and dirty this afternoon using it because we need to get gravel in the barn here. Um, so yeah, if you need a tool to help you take tires off of wheels, I think this would be a fine contender. Um, you know, it's not the cheapest tool that I've ever seen, but for what it does, I can understand why it costs what it costs because it is fully hydraulic. So, so yep, that's it. The Vivor uh, uh, Tire Bead Breaker, a combi bead breaker, it says on it here. Um, Seems to be something eh, probably worth using. We'll take it to the tractor shop. If uh, we have any more thoughts on it, we'll do another video. So, all right, we'll see you around. Uh -huh.